Hello, I'm Matt and welcome back to Southern RPG. Today we're in Orban and we're getting up the next setup. Now we've got a couple of problems that we've had. Just no, nothing, nothing too big. I've done a little bit of grinding, a little bit of uh, crafting, etc. off screen. But in this area, we have this bloody problem where these little gobbos are climbing up and breaking foundations. So there's a few things we're going to be doing today. One, we're going to move a base, which I've done. I've flattened out a bit of ground. We're going to show you in a minute. But I also wanted to show you a really, really, really good way of making gold coin really easily. Now, most people are doing the King's Quest board, but you don't need to do these things. These kind of just, uh, they just give you gold coins and a little bit of stuff that you can get. Some of these are good to do. Like if you're collecting Orc Skulls and large Orc Skulls, etc., you can do that. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, Goblin. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? All right, we're going to be breaking some of this crap down because we, we're going to need to move out of here quickly is what we're going to need to do. Let me get some stairs and get these boys up here so I can actually climb up. All right. So, <laughs> that's out of the way. We've got a couple of things we've been doing. So, I've been getting some iron ingots. Now, we've got these iron ingots done. I put a couple of miners upstairs. I'll show you in a second. We did it in the last episode where we set up the miners. Make sure you check it out if you haven't checked it out already. Uh, it's the first of where we started off in this area. Uh, we have the research station. Now, we're going to need to unlock a few things. So, we're going to need to unlock uh, our crafting station level 2 so I can get the iron pickaxe. And we need to unlock some farming, which is that's 5,000, that's 6,000. We're going to need to unlock some of the um, defenses. So, that's going to cost us another 1,000 over here. So, we're going to have to start doing some of these. Uh, large coin storage is another 5,000. And if we wanted to go to the next of automation, it's going to be another 5,000. And this quest over here is going to ask you to do things like iron tools. Now, you can get quite a decent amount of iron stuff out of here. We can, Jesus Christ, on a bike, gobos. Right, we need to move. This, this guy's giving us a pretty decent amount of gold co co coin, actually. Right. So anyway, as before I was rudely interrupted, uh, we need to unlock those things. So what we can do is go over to this King's Market, and we're going to start selling some of these iron tools. So that's going to give us 2,500 coins a stack. So we can just drop those in and we can get crap loads. We don't need to unlock that quest. We don't need to unlock it. We're just going to have to, uh, we just need to get the vault gold. So if we go into the research station now, we can go over to our crafting. Uh, we can go to upgrade station level two. We can unlock that. That's 5,000. We can go over and we can unlock the copper detection. Unlock over here. We can unlock our spit roast for our farming. We probably will need to unlock this at some point. But we have nothing left in the vault right now. But we can go in and uh, let's see if we can unlock this as well. We can unlock that as well. Um, and then we just go back over here. And then we can just sell more of the tools. Sell it all over. And it goes into either the vault or our bag. So we still got a load of stuff we can now unlock. So if we go down to like automation three, we do need to get iron plates and iron cogs. This is something that we need to craft, which I'm actually going to probably do later on because we just need to move the base over. Oh, that's going to annoy me with that bloody thing over there. But we have got an absolute crap load of gold coins now. Deposit all into Benjamin. Now we've got 5,000. So there's a few other little bits I want to unlock. I want to unlock the L farming. We'll get that done. And I wanted to do, um, like, unlock some of the wood decorations. Because when we're building in the next one, we're going to be getting a little bit more in there. I don't need to do the demo charges and stuff yet, explosives. I did want to do the elevators, but we're building above ground for the moment. So let's just put these over here and deposit all into inventory. And then we have 2,866 still in there. Now, I did have been crafting a little bit and doing getting some ores, etc., etc. And we got a load of solid stone and wood because we're going to be going over to do a build. So I'm just going to clean up. Also, another little quick one. When you go into the chest over here, you can actually click up here if you didn't know. And right in here, so uh, built parts. Ingots. We're going to put ingots in here because we can. we're going to change the uh, what ones we have in here. So there's going to be ingots in here so we can put all of our ingots. At the moment, we've got the iron cogs and stuff in here already. But these guys, uh, when you're actually building, you can set it up. As we said earlier in the previous episode, you can do the gold coins, get it in here, and we can put iron ore, we can get iron tools, and then we can make an absolute crap load. Now, you can actually buy these back when you're farming up, so we're into the wrong thing. 
We can just sell these and we can get another load in the vault. And now we've got another 5,000 in the vault. And we can unlock something else. So we can lock, unlock the elevators. We can, we've unlocked the basic defenses already, which we're going to be putting down. Wood decorations pack. We can unlock the stone decorations because we're going to be building out of stone. So I kind of want to have that unlocked. That I don't know. There's other things that people do like need that is a lot better. Let's just deposit all. But we do need to craft a few little bits. So now we've emptied our backpacks. We want, we got the unlock the upgrade station too. We do need to get the iron cogs out to upgrade that station, which I have already got over here. We do have enough, yes. Let's get that in there, and we can go and upgrade this station. Mm, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna build first because I don't know if we can. Uh, I don't know for sure yet. We got a decent amount of uh, stone over here. But there is an area that I wanted to go over to. Is this miner been filled up already? I have an issue. When I'm playing a game, I literally just can all the time do loads of different things. Now, this is iron deposits almost done. But as you can see, over in this direction, we have got a bit of a flattened area. Oh, okay, we should have come from the base. A little hop, skip, and a jump over here. We need to set up the food stuff because the food stuff is important because we need it for HP if we're going to be running through and grabbing a lot of these areas have got camps and stuff in them now i did notice something as well like a little bit uh, uh it's kind of annoying but it, it's not the worst thing in the world but when you mine out a load of ore that's sitting in the ground over here um when i re-logged all those ore like all the ore in here respawned we're gonna have a goblin come up it's all right give me your gold and your cooked ball meat so we can get hp but all the ore that was in here, like there's the little standard ore nodes, they all respawned. So it respawned inside of the base, which was kind of a bit of a ball lake, to be honest. So we can actually build this over to... You know what I need to do, though? Because I wanted to have the doorway... We're going to build it up to the edge over here. I'm going to build across. And I'm going to build all these all the way around. And we're going to do a little corner section that's going to go off can we go in there yep yeah, right so now we need to go into the corner section so the corner wall this is mainly for the outside we do have some other stuff now though i just because i realized we unlocked the other things we have some fences and stuff and we have these cool big wall deco things which i'll probably break down uh either so to have this either side of the door so when we've completed it but this is the corner piece we need to chuck that in there and that gives us kind of a what the hell even happened there ah because they're foundations, that's why we're doing walls. <laughs> right, so. How do we turn these corner bits in? So let's go back into this and hopefully we'll be able to just like... Get this to go around the corner like that. But then it's going to have to be walls all the way around. <laughs> Can we get out there? Are you going to let me up? No, you're not. You're going to make me build stairs to get up onto this, aren't you? Okay, so if we're going to be ended up building walls all the way around the edge over here, so let's get into. I haven't done a lot of the building in this, but I'm really liking the way it goes together at the moment. Let's try and get this guy in here. We'll do this, and then we can come out and go in and build the corners. We may need to get more stone at some point. Like, uh, let's get this guy over here. So we can just have it out. And then we're gonna... I'm just gonna go out and place all these foundations down and around. And I'll be right back. So some of these won't place. So I'm guessing underneath here we're gonna have ore. Which is... Somewhat aggravating. But we're gonna have to dig out the floor a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't dig into the floor too far into the ground. So it goes into a cave system. Because that's what I didn't want to deal with at the moment. Anyway, look, there we go. Into the cave system. God damn it. Because they might cause the uh, guys to come up out of the ground, which I kind of didn't want. But what we can do right now is to hopefully try and fix that a little bit. Oh, no, don't fall. Don't fall. Don't. We don't want to fall. I don't want to go all the way down again. I can hear running already. And we can fill this in again. So they can't get through that bloody floor. And then we can build on top. I'm hoping that's going to work. I'm hoping that's going to be a little bit of a workaround there. Uh, let's 
now I'll put you in there. Now we can put you in there. Uh, you don't want to be on this. Come on. Why are you stuck? And now I'm stuck forever. I'm falling forever. Here we go. Let's climb up. Climb over to here. We're not going to go all the way to the edge, so I do need to actually break that. But that's the if the, if it's not letting you place it's because there's an ore node below or there's a stone node or there's something that you need or there's a bloody goblin get out of my face it's all right give me your food and stuff it's fine and then we come to destroy that and then it'll be <laughs> at least it ran up the side over here and didn't run up the other way what's that random ass staircase doing there right so I'm going to continue to place these bad boys down, but they're not going to go everywhere because there's going to be stuff underneath. But not all the way around. I'll just fill this in and then I'll have to dig down and grab uh, the different ore things and we'll be back. So we now have this whole area. I did the whole thing and I had to dig out the floor just a little bit. There wasn't any nodes there, but as soon as I put placed it and then refilled it in, we need to repair some of this stuff though. Let's repair some of these bits and pieces because they're going to cause issues. But I did fill in the floor. Make sure you do fill in the floor afterwards so they can't get up inside. Uh, I probably have to fill in this floor a bit over here. And we'll have to have some defenses in the directions we need to go. There's something coming up. I just heard it running around. So now we're just going to go around the edges. So we're going to go around the edges. So it's got a little bit of a corner. We don't. There's something running around. I can hear it. Right, place in. So now we're going to have to place the walls around the edges here just to give it... God damn it, gobbos. Should have had the all-made defenses. There's a lot of camps around here, but it's not an issue. It's going to be just part of the game. Uh, placing these walls down. I'm just going to place these all the way around. Now, you won't see it on one side. So it's not going to be bad that you're placing... You can see how it's not, like, completely in there. I just bloody fell off. Yep. Yep. Why are these slightly lower than the other ones? That's going to upset me. I'm going to have to do that again. But we're just going to go all the way around the edges with the corner piece and the walls. So we got all the walls around and all the corner pieces around this flat, uh, the flat building. And we just found out where we got 18. It's 19 across, so it's going to be 10. To, uh, sorry, 8, 8, and then 1. And that'll be what we need there. And this will be the center of the build. So we're going to actually now put our doorway in here at the top. Hopefully it decides that it wants to fit there. So we at least have the doorway inside. And we do have the door this time, luckily. So we can fit that inside and we have the doorway. And at least we're going to have the entire floor to build in uh, what, by having these walls around the edges. We can do it that way. Um, I don't know if it's going to go inside of it. The doors open and are pretty damn cool in this game, though. Um, right. So now we're going to put the two faces on either side of this. If it's going to let us do it. Is it going to be... Is it on both Is the face on both sides? And it gives us sort of a look around the edges. Now, I'm not going to put a ceiling on for today. I'm just going to put the... Um, I didn't fit the last piece of the corner over here. That's not good for anyone. We won't put the roof on it today because nothing flies in and nothing's going to get us from the outside. But I don't know if we're going to have a problem now because it's one and a half. So we're going to have to try and do a little sneakiness. Hopefully we can do this and sort of place it inside. But I don't think we can. So it's going to have like a section that's open there. Hmm... So how are we going to be able to fix that? I don't think we're going to be able to fix that. It's just going to have... I'm going to wait until it's daytime we can get this going again. Right, so what I had to do was actually... Uh, it, it's going to have to go in evens. So it, instead of having it centered, you have to kind of have it in evens uh, across the two platforms. So if we stick that there, for example, it's going to stay fit in there. So I'm going to have to also break two of these down so we can have the walls in here. We might have to go out one more in one of the directions for us to have it symmetrical because I can't not have it symmetrical. I have to build symmetrically. 
uh, it's not possible for me to do it any other way. So I'm probably going to have to build out in another direction. So if we go, there's the corner piece, wall. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine on this way, and then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we might have to actually delete one of these things to go around there. So we're just going to go across. There's only four pieces, then the face. Or if you just press it wrong, it's going to take us a hell of a lot longer to do it. Oh, we pick up the wrong one. So one, two, three, four, then the face. Because we do want it to look cool. We don't want it to look bad. Face and then the corner piece. So we're going to have to delete this, the face, then corner. Okay, so we're just going to have to delete these bits out here so they're not here in the way. Delete all these bad boys. I kind of, whenever I build, I build like in a, in like by ear. I build by ear always. I don't like to plan anything because plans change all the time. So I just like to be able to uh, build this, turn it around that way. Okay. And then we can put the other one here. And then we can have our walls go around the edges and make sure it's facing the right direction. Have it go around the edge over here. Get out of the way, piggy. Oh, yeah. Fine. If you want to donate your hide to my cause, then we can take it. That's not a problem. But you are going to be up there and it's going to be annoying, so we'll just bury you down there. Uh, wrong way. Why are they all facing the wrong way again? Spin it that way. We want to be this way. Ah. Uh. The placing can be a little bit like uh, finicky sometimes. It can be quite finicky. We want to be able... Why are you not snapping? Is the question. There we go. But now it's gone back the other way again. So we need to spin you around. So you're that way. And then we just put you in there. Because you need to do exactly what I'm supposed to be telling you to do. But you don't seem to be doing... We're going to have to go around again to get up. They are quite thick, these walls. I wish they were kind of a little bit thinner. I do understand why they've done it this way. But I do kind of wish they were a little bit thinner. Uh, let's spin you around so you can fit perfectly in there. And then we have to kind of run around. But at least we've got a little bit of room around the edge here to do some stuff we need to expand later on. I, will kind of, I need to fill in this a little bit as well. That does look good. It does look cool. Uh, let's put some stairs in here. We'll put two sets. Spin you around. Can you can you go in there, please, sir? Yep, yeah, you can. And you? Are you gonna are you gonna There we go. And then we're gonna put the door in. It's gonna fit directly in there. Now we just have to put the, the the walls all the way around. Right, so now we've got the full area all walled up all the way around. We're not gonna put a roof on it yet because I don't know how many floors I'm gonna have on this yet. And we're gonna have eventually I'll be digging down from here and we'll put a mine shaft down so we can just move like vertically with inside the base as well. I think it turned out pretty nice. The way that it, the way that it's uh, built is really nice. I do love the way it looks. Um, like uh, the way that the different structure pieces look, for example, not the, not tooting my own horn by making saying that it's really good. But what I'm going to do now is go back to the base over there, and we're going to put all the stuff into boxes. Going to break everything down. We're going to move it over here, and I'll show you the finished product. And then we'll go do a little bit of exploring. Right. So I moved the base over to this location. Uh, I broke everything down over there, and then we just brought it over here, and we got a little bit built. It is nighttime, which is kind of annoying. We did have enough stone to fully fill in the roofs and there was some bits that we couldn't build over. But I did figure out a couple of things while we were doing this. There's a way you can actually, um, if you hold left shift, you can actually spin these on the yaw. And if you press control, you can spin it on this way. So you can actually really piss about with this. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, and there was a thing that we screwed up earlier. So I could have done what I did by building the wall into the other wall. So for example, um an issue that you could have when you're building is you can turn this and it actually 
not stick through the wall. So if you place another, it's going to come out on the other side as well, which is kind of annoying. But for instance, if you don't have the snap on as well, and we take that off, and we can place that down there, you can actually place the wall in, and then you can have the wall coming out and it not have the little gap that you've got in there. So I didn't figure that out for a while, and that was kind of stupid of me. I should have really looked in the bottom corner, but we got over there. We got our research bench and our king's market over here. We need to put some lighting over here, though. That's, that's definitely something that we need to do. We need to put some lighting. We'll put some over here. I didn't realize how dark it would be once we got into the... Uh, uh, actual underneath the thing because the lighting does change as we're doing that so we have our research bench king's market we have our little bank over here and i put some chests here to put the stuff in just to make it look a little nicer there there is some things that needs to be added to the game um we but once i actually fully get to the end of it and we can do a proper build then i'll i'll talk about what they actually needs we have our blacksmith over here with all of our boxes for our ores and stuff like that and we have our upgrade station which i do actually want to upgrade right now to the next tier for us to be able to unlock iron pickaxes um uh we need wood if we can grab some wood we can actually unlock that one so we can start to use that i do need to actually before we do that i want to show you the spit roast so we have our this is the use for the boar carcass boar carcasses that we have here so we can actually just add the boar and then cook the boar and it cooks over time and when it finally completes it will it will come up and it will show you take the meat and it will give you each boar carcass gives you four meat so while we're doing that one over there we will create this we'll craft our iron pickaxe i do want to craft this guy over here but we don't have enough inventory space right now we have to be careful because there is a little bug so we'll take the four cooked boar meat and then you can go in here and we can start making some herb boar we do have uh, herbs in our box over here for the animal stuff if i can bloody find it here is the animal thing over here so we can stick these all in here and we can cook them up as we're going along we do have 21 cooked boar meat we have herb bushes but for some reason herb boar it's saying we don't have ah because we haven't put the input that's why because we're just idiots and then we have to put some coal in there which i'll have over here i have crap loads of coal i'm not worried about how much coal i have it's iron that we're running low on so we're going to have to work on getting that actually sorted at some point. So we'll put the fuel in there. And then it's going to output Herb the Boar for us automatically. Um, I will put another. It is over here, I think. Yeah, there it is there. I'll put another Boar Carcass on there so we have some more meat on the go. So, so we're having everything going all at the same time. Uh, I don't know. The campfire doesn't do anything. just gives you light. I did put a table here just for shits and giggles. Um, but I want it to actually craft the medium backpack. Now, before we actually put that backpack on, there's a bug, and you really need to know about this bug because this bug will cause everything in your inventory to disappear. So we're going to place everything all in here real quick, and then we can put the backpack on. It gives us some extra slots, and then we can take these guys out. Um, I will put this, uh, take this off the bar, put it in there, and we can put this inside, and then we'll just pick up the stuff that we have here and put it in the proper boxes. Um, and then we can go and just craft so it make sure that you actually when before you put it on make sure the backpack your backpack is empty because everything that's in there will disappear if you don't do that uh bunk go to horny gel uh we're gonna craft one of those just for shits and giggles i'm gonna craft a dwarven axe um the navigator points us directly to ores if we get the next upgrade but we do need copper ingots and ruby ore to be able to do that we don't have enough of that right now but yeah that's going to be the upgrades that we have I'm going to put, I'm pretty sure we can still chop down trees with this and we'll put the mace uh, where that is there because we've got the tethers in case we're before we go exploring. Uh, flares I'm just going to leave in the backpack. Now we're going to put some of this stuff away and then we're going to head off and have a little bit of fun. I don't know what this actually does. If it's going to knock them out or if we actually kill them with it. We'll have to see once we get to that point. Uh, we're going to go in and we're just going to chuck these guys in here. Uh, we're going to check the orc skulls in there. We need 15 and 5 for the quest. Even though the quest isn't really a, a, a big thing. It's just to try and teach you how to do what you're doing. Uh, we do need to put the this stuff in there. We will likely move a chest over to the cooking part. We'll take the boar meat. And we'll stick the boar meat inside. 
and it can continue cooking. Uh, these guys will give us uh, 30 HP each time we eat them. So we can actually stick these over here. We don't really need the torches because we're going to craft a helmet, which is the miner's helmet, which is going to give us the light that we need. I believe we need the earth shards and borehide. I did take that out of there. I don't know why I took that away. Uh, we need the borehide and the earth shards. Where do we put those earth shards over here? And then we're going to go do a little bit of exploring. Just a little bit. We're going to go have a little poke our head inside. And then we're going to craft this guy up. And then we're going to have our helmet. Which is going to give us a torch. Which I don't know how to turn on currently. <laughs> what was the button for it? Is it not even going to show us how to turn it on? How do we toggle that? Oh, it's working right now. It's fine. It's working. It works all the time. Okay, so let's go stick this stuff back inside. Uh, wall torch, can we not stack you? You can get stacked there. Uh, we'll put you back inside there. We'll put you over here. Our iron ingots and stuff we will put over there. We do have our healing now, so we can actually just eat that straight away and we'll have some healing going on. I did put in a wrong one. We're gonna take, we're gonna take some wood of us just in case we need to build a cross, build ladders down, etc., etc. Um, and then we'll just stick the other stuff in there. I wish there was a way to just, uh, I don't know, sort the inventory out. There is no inventory sorter. That's going to be something they need to add here in the future. So let's just head off and we'll head off down. And we'll... There was one other thing I missed. I missed something else. I always miss something. I always miss something. We missed the steel sword, uh, which does require the wood and the ingots that we've got on us. But we do have that as well now. But we do have the axe as well that we can use. But I wanted to just grab the steel sword. Do we already have a steel sword? We have a steel sword. I don't know why I just made another one. Can we sell the steel sword? How much does that make? Let's go over here. And we'll see. Does it... Can you... No, we can't. Bye. Dig deep and hold. It's just a complete waste of time. Let's just chuck that down there and throw it away. Okay, so we're going to head off. And we're going to run down into the deep and see if we can find anything tasty. We do have some iron ingots with us, so we can use this to craft... Uh, no, we need iron ore, sorry. We need iron ore. We'll find some along the way. We'll find some along the way. So we can put some markers down if we do find something tasty. Uh, we're going to head down this way. And we're going to head into the cave system over here. See if we can't find some copper ore because we do need some of that. And see what actually is in there. Because I, I have no idea what actually we have inside of here. There are these things that I found. Um, which actually have ancient chariots. They have 100,000. So they'll give you wood automatically once you get to that point. We have coal deposit, copper deposit, big giant ass copper deposit. Right, let's see how much damage this does now. Not a massive amount, but we can still use it to collect the stuff we need to collect. Orc skulls and copper coins, copper coins, gold coins. We do need some of this ruby ore. There's so many giant nodes here, holy mother of crap. Right, so we actually need to break these. These actually, if you get the anvil, you can break these down and these will give you ingots. Why are you guys fighting it? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why were they fighting each other? That's weird as hell. But we, dude, I'm just going to be running around. Uh, these guys give you wood and this gives you stone. It doesn't really give you that much. It's not really worth the time. Uh, but we do kind of need to have a way of finding our way through. We don't want to go. There's our other base. Uh, we're not going to go in that way. But we do have... We have a little iron node here. A coal and an iron deposit. A massive one. I think that's another iron and a massive coal. Like, this this area here is going to be really good once we get the automation going for iron and coal. We can actually almost start to do that very soon. But I really needed to get the ore for the ruby ore. And we need to find a few other things. I am going to try and fight one of these big dudes. Is they're fighting each other. Why? I'm, I'm confused as to why these dudes are fighting each other. There's someone running up to us. We need to... I want to try the Bonky Bonks. I want to see what the Bonky Bonks does. Because it just says, Bonk, go to Orc Jail. What are these guys over here fighting? There's a big dude over there breaking his way through. Okay. Um, we do. We can block with this. These guy, this guy hits hard, by the way. So if you can't manage to keep him, come on, 
We're going to try and backpedal him until we end up hitting a wall. These guys... Oh, if he hits you, though, it does hit you for a massive amount like that. But we should be able to kill him now. There we go. We got the big orc boss. I'm literally stepping back going... Oh. Ruby gems, large orc skull, massive amounts of gold and gold ingots. Because I wanted to see what was in one of these towns. Like, I think there might be something interesting. Let's grab this ruby ore. We don't really need that many earth stones right now. But I didn't know if there was, like, something cool in these things. Because I haven't checked any of them out yet. Uh, there is orc camp 10. But I don't know what these things will give you if you break them down. There's old crates. Was there something running around? There's gobbers. The gobbers are coming. There's a large orc skull there for some reason. Oh god, we're almost dead. I didn't even realize we had such low HP. Stuff is coming. Go away, gobber. We need to eat. I'm gonna eat. Eat a couple of those. Lovely. Now I want to try bonky bonks. Let's have a look at bonky bonks. See how much that... That does loads more damage. Is that good against armored guys? I'm guessing so. We got. Our, we're gonna have a load of stuff now. Let's just pick up all these gold coins. Cook four. Coal ore. Lovely. Now, the combat isn't, like, the best in the world. But it's not bad. Like, it's interesting. This is a factory game, by the way. So there's a large orc skull. So if we break this down, what does it give us? Does it just give us a large orc skull? It does give us just a large orc skull. And it's a little... So these guys are used to get, like, a... Oh, God, I just dug a hole in the floor. Let's see what this old crate gives us. See if it, anything's inside it. We just get wood. Let's go and have a little look. See, what does this orc tent, orc camp tent give us? Just wood. And there's nothing else really here. If we break these orc flags and stuff, do they stop spawning here? Or is that not a thing? If you've gone any further, let me know down below if that's a thing or not. Just wanted to have a quick look. So if we use this instead, and we bonky bonk everyone... Yeah, this guy, look, 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 basically almost one-shots these dudes. They one-shots the little guys anyway. We should have been using that way before. I wish there was a way to uh, just, like, loot all loot body. Can we loot it? That No, we can't. That would have been really nice if we could do that. Need to get some more of this ruby ore, because that's one of the quests. Uh, we don't really need to unlock the quest now, but it is, like... There's something coming towards us. we got gobos. Okay. Lovely. Some more gold coins. Something else is coming. We've got more. They're all coming now. Come on. There's one behind us. Was there one behind us? But these are a good way to get small amounts of resources at the beginning at least. I don't think they'll be good in the long run. That one had a lot of stuff on him. What do we have here? Orc skull. Goblin pot. What does the goblin pot give us? Stuff is coming. We get soft stone and copper pots. I'm guessing we're going to be using that for something. Uh, let's just get our mace out. I don't want to go too far in this episode because I want to actually explore a lot more once we get a couple more pieces and some automation unlocked. So I will be doing a little bit of crafting to get the gold coins out. And if I figure out anything, I'll let you know anyway. Um, so I'm just going to crack on. We've got some more nodes here. I should probably write some of these down. There's a big stone deposit. And actually, you know what we can test We can test right now? There's a giant bloody coal deposit here as well. What do you want, Gobbo? Come here. Give me your gold coins. There's one behind us, I guess. There we go. Poking us now with his little things. Uh, da, da, da. I wanted to test to see... But it doesn't look like... Can we get to... There we go. Oh, God. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Gobbo. Right. I wanted to test to see if we get... What we get... We get soft stone from digging this out. So if we... Oh, what's that? Iron ore. There's some iron ore there. Let's dig this bad boy out. But the question I wanted to know... Can we shovel this? Let's remove that. Let's see if it does it. So you don't get stone from it, but you can still just shovel this out. I get a nice little bit of iron ore here. So I'm just going to quickly grab this while we're here. Because we are using that as our main source of income to get the unlocks is to actually just do the, um, make the iron tools and stuff like that. 
So we do need to find we got we need to get our miner back. So we can get these uh, them on some bigger mining loads. Uh, we also need to I need to research the um the bigger automated miners so we can get those on some of the bigger nodes. I think that'll be really good. But at least we can dig further down now. Let's just crack on and make stairway for ourselves. Oh, give me that uh, ruby roll. Okay, we're out. Okay, that's all I wanted to check for this episode today. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and sub if you haven't already. For all your survival gaming goodness, fly safe and avoid local chat scams.